okay guys so welcome back again so in this video let's see that how do we update a product by its id so firstly what we want to do we want to send a patch request to our route here that is local host port 3000 forward slash products and id so here firstly let's get a product by its id so that we have an id to test so we have this id here and this id is about this imac and price to be 17.99 so we want to make a patch request to this route here that is forward slash product and forward slash the id of the product we want to update and now let's go to our product route.js file and here we can see that this is the route we are handling here that router.patch forward slash forward slash colon id and here we are simply sending back a response that updating a single product so if we click here that is update a product by its id we get this response here that is updating a single product and this is because of this type of response we are sending here so firstly what we want to do we want to remove this response here and firstly what we want to do we want to get the id from the route parameter so we can get that id using this thing here that is const id equal to uh, request dot params dot id like this and then we can use our normal try catch blocks because we are using async and await so try catch and for the error we are simply logging it inside the console for now because we'll be handling all the errors later in the video console log error dot message like this and then inside the try block why not move this id inside the try block itself so control x control v and now what i want to do i want to get the request body that is coming from the client side that is we want to send a request body here in our request and firstly we want to set a header that is content type to be application json so let's set our header for our request here so content type would be application json like this and we want to send it a request body as we uh, send the request here that is to create a product we are sending a json body here with name and price and similarly we want to send a patch request it will contain either the name either the price or both so here let's make a body here and this time what we want to do we want to change the price of that product that is this product that is imac because we are targeting this product right now so i want to change its price to be 1999 so let's make a json body here that is price to be 1999 and what i want to do i want to get this request body inside our product route so we can do that very easily so we can say const updates equal to request dot body like this because the updates are contained inside request dot body because we are sending this request body here that is that contains price to be 1999 and now what we want to do we want to use async and await so firstly let's mark this callback function as async like this and then what we can do we can say const result equal to await product dot find by id and update and this is a mongoose method that we are going to use find by id and update and if you want you can use find one and update where instead of the id you pass in the query parameter but here in this video i'll be telling you about find by id and update so let's use that function and basically this function takes in three parameter firstly the id of the product you want to update secondly the updates itself and thirdly an optional parameter that are options so firstly we are only going to pass in the id and updates and later on in the video we'll be talking about the options so let's pass in the id here that is the id of the product we want to update and secondly the second parameter is the updates parameter so we can pass the updates like this and then we can simply send back the result to the client so response.send result and it's as simple as this and now let's go to our rest client and let's see if we are able to update the product so let's go to our rest client here and currently we have this product here that is imac price 17.99 and now let's make a patch request to this route so let me click on send request here and we see here that we are getting this product back that is imac and price to be 17.99 and don't worry about this deprecation warning here we'll easily rectify it but for now let's see that why are we getting price to be 17.99 though we have passed here 19.99 but here if we click here that is get a product by its id because this is the id we are talking about and let's click here to get that product so let's see and this time we see that we are getting 19.99 and that is because whenever you make a update request like this 
and when you use find by id and update then it returns you the old document and not the updated document to return the updated document we need to pass in the options parameter here that is the third parameter here so we can construct our options like this so const options equal to and here it should take in one parameter to return the new document and that should be new to be true like this and let's save this application and here as a third parameter we want to pass in the options here so we can pass in options like this and now let's save this application and now let's change its price back to 17.99 and then we can see that we'll be getting the updated document and not the old document so currently this document has the price of 19.99 and we can make sure by clicking here that is making a get request to this id that is this id and now let's again make an update request to the same id with price to be 1799 and this time the price would be updated and you'll get an updated document back so let's click here that is send request and this time we get 1799 so now let's uh, update its name also so this time i would pass in the name as the request body here and name would be imac 2019 like this and the price to be 27.99 so let's make a request here and this time we see that the price and name has both been changed and now let's only change the name back to imac like this and now let's click here we see that the name is changed and this time let's send an empty body here that is an empty request body here and we see that nothing is updated so this is how you can use mongoose to update your documents and now we can talk about this thing here that is deprecation warning here that is it says that find one and update and find one and delete without the use find and modify or set to false are deprecated so we can rectify it by using this thing here that is use and modify use find and modify option here and we should and we should copy it here and we should go back to our app.js file here and where we are making a connection to mongoose we should pass that use find and modify options with value to be false so we can pass that here like this so we can paste it here and we can provide in the false value here like this and let's save this application and the application restarted and now let's go to our rest line and now let me again make an update request and we see that we are not getting that warning anymore and we can also verify it by sending another request here and price to be 22.99 and let's make an update request and we see that the price has changed and the name is iMac and we are not getting that warning anymore that is this deprecation warning so this is how you can easily uh, rectify that deprecation warning if you are getting it inside your console so guys that's all about this video and in the next video we'll be talking about the errors because we have not handled any errors inside any of the catch blocks whether it's a get request to get a single product or whether it's a delete request or whether it's a update request so that's what we are going to do in the next video so till then have a good time and have a good day